and welcome back to another episode of Life in Prison. My name is Zach, and if you're new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button while you add it. Hit that bell notification button so you're first informed when I upload. So for today's video, I'm actually traveling to Virginia, and I'm going to do a live interview with my buddy Gigi, who's being held in Virginia jail for first-degree murder. Head on up there and do this little jail interview with him and his girl so you guys get a first-hand look on how it is with a loved one being locked up and, you know, the ties and strains that can have on someone's relationship. Without further ado, here's a live jail visit from Virginia. All right. All What's right. your name? Name. G. What's up, Stinky? <laughs> All right. Ain't All right. Change, big dog. Big dog. So, so, how long have you been doing time? You? Since I was 18. 19. All right. How old are you now? 30. All right. So you've been doing hella time. Hella time. Yeah. Where was the first Where place was the you first locked up? Locked up. Well, Prison-wise? Yeah. Yeah. St. Mary's. St. Mary's. St. Mary's. Yeah. So West Virginia. So West Virginia. Yeah. How long did you do How your first you time? Do? My first time? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, a little over six. Six years? Six years. Yeah. I do believe that I was do believe that locked up. Locked up. So within that so six, six years, years, you'd went you from went different prisons different in West prison. Virginia. Yeah. yeah. Which prison did Which you end up getting sit to in West, in West Virginia? Virginia? Well, I started out in St. Mary's, and then because of behavioral shit, they sent me to the hut. And then once I was at the hut, I just kept acting up and shit, so they sent me to my complex, and that's where I discharged from. After about six years. Now you they yeah, end up putting you on the program up there at, the, at Mount Olive, right? Yeah, quality life program. Now for the quality now, for life, the quality how long did they end up holding you there? You there? Fuck, oh, dude. Um, it was close to two years, I think. Two years? Two years. It was close to it, I think. Now with your now, experience with your, of being in the hole, being in the hole I'd say quality I'd say life for that long. Help. What? What is the most, the most thing that got thing you the most got carrying, through carrying through while back there? While back there. Shit, dude. I really don't know. I was going crazy for real. By the time I got out, I was half fucking nuts. For real, dude. Like, I guess just getting high and getting drunk for real. That's all we did on Quality of Life was get high and get drunk. I know. I I, I I told them about being back there. Being back you kind there, of have to talk to yourself, to talk to yourself so that you don't go so crazy. Don't go. Cleveland, Cleveland, when I first hit Mount Olive, first hit Mount you know, he gave me some hooch back there. Oh, Slim brought it to me. That was the first time I ever that drank back there. It was fucked up. Fucked up. Yeah, that's all we did back there. Hey, two, three times a week. I was over there on a pub with Loco. You, did you meet Loco? I never Keith met Loco. him. I never met But I'd heard that he'd been going in. Hey, look, that's a good ass dude, man. Hey, fucking, hey, I'm sending a shout out to Keith Lowe for real, hey, for showing me hospitality and love back there while I was on quality of life. That's a good ass dude for real. He looked out for me hard. See, and, and See, I tell them and too, I, you meet a lot meet of a real lot good dudes good while in prison. While in prison. You know what I mean? Yeah, you, you know what I mean? You meet a lot of fuck ass people, but you meet a lot of good people too, for real. Some of the people Some that the have, people, they give the most they respect, give the most. and I feel like they'll hold their like head up. up. Most of these dudes Most are in prison, opposed on the streets. Fuck yeah, man. Everybody's telling on you in the fucking streets, dude, for every fucking thing. Bro, when I got locked up, everybody was telling on me. Everybody I thought was my homeboys, my friends. Everybody was telling on me. The bitches that I was fucking with, everything. I feel like in prison, like you don't you have don't anything like you do on the like streets. On the streets. So the only so thing you really have is your have work. Is really you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah, your word and who you are, what you stand for. And yeah. You stand for. yeah. You're, stripped of, You're stripped of everything, and the only thing you got is your word as a man. man. So once it's done once and over done. with, if you, uh, if, you uh, if your good word your is good bad, word. you're a fucking turd you're bucket. A fucking turd. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, out of the six of years, the six, your first bit, your first bit, how much how time much did you do in the whole out of the six years? Six years. Shit, dude. Um, probably close to three and a half. Now, now, for all that for whole all time, 
what was the write up was the for? Right? Mostly, hey, gang activity and tattoos for the most part. I told them I that told if them you'd gotten any you'd tattoos, got any, anything gang related, they gonna hit they, you off well, and you going straight go to the street. hole. And they gonna hold and you they hold. Yep. Now, did you ever now, get you know, um, that whole situation that whole with situa the CO at the, at the hut? Hut. Right. Did they ever give you did extra time for that? No, they was going, I think they was going to, and then, like, so I made them suit up about three months later, and they came in and fucked me up, dude. Fucking threw in a flashbang, shot me with 37 millimeter, I mean, fucked me up, left me in the chair, I pissed myself, left me in the chair for like 13 fucking hours. You know what I mean? I think after that, they were just like, we fucked him up bad enough, we're just gonna leave his ass alone and ship him out. And that's basically what happened. I went to Mount Olive like three months later, four months later. So after the situation so after the with the CO, they ended up shipping they, you up to Mount Olive. Yeah. Yeah, after I yeah, got hit, supposedly, supposedly passing yeah, some pills off, pills off, that's when they ended up sending they end up me up the Mount Olive. Mount Olive. But luckily, I but hit luckily, the yard. I, yeah, Did you I ever? Ended you ever I ended up hitting the yard right before I discharged, and then I got caught with a knife like uh, maybe 15 days before I was discharging, so they threw me right back on the program and made me discharge from the program. Damn, so you Damn, went out of the so program you, twice up there. Twice up there. Yeah. They weren't fucking They weren't fuck. Hell no. Once they I find once out they that you out have you. knives nah. and that you they, you gonna do they stuff, do stuff. They putting your they ass put back your in the ass. hole. Oh. Hell yeah, they forget about you, bro. They fight and they don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck. They just they put you back there and leave you back there. Leave you to rot. I heard that they heard let slim out. Slim out. Of the whole. Look, look at people. Look at people like um. Look at people like like Keith Lowe, like Loco, man. He's been back here for like nine fucking years for that team and escape and shit. Then you got that old dude. I think his name was like Rogers or something. He he was on the three D program because he had life sentences out of Texas and shit. So he he was on the three D program for the rest of his life. He's been back here for like seventeen years. They don't give a fuck. See, the only See, good the thing only about being back here, I guess. Is being able is to have able your to TV, have. your Xbox, in a boombox. That's 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 the only that's thing that's saving you. Being we'll on three D. Well, see, only people on the three D program get the boombox and the Xbox and all that shit. If you're on a regular quality light program, if you just on QLL, all you get is a TV. But that does save you a little bit. Now we do. I, I, I couldn't afford one, so I made them shoot up until they gave me one. You know what I mean? I, I was broke. I was broke. <laughs> <laughs> Did you eventually get one? Yeah, yeah, I got a TV. I got two of them actually. You got two of them. You got two of them. Yeah, not at the same time. I broke the first one. They gave me another. <laughs> were they the were old they the big box big TVs, box TVs, or there were they the skinny they the, uh, flat uh, screen joints? Joints. No, nah, they were like the little like eleven inch joints. A lot of people didn't lot believe lot people me, did. and I'll be like, I'll be like, there was Xboxes there was X in there, PlayStation. But every prison but is every different prison, though. Like, Mary's, when we was at St. Mary's, they had Xbox Elites, Xbox 360s. Had a bunch of nice shit at St. Mary's. But St. Mary's is a lower level. It's like a 3-4. Yeah, once you yeah, start getting to the 5, the four, five, fives, four I mean, fives, I mean, well, Huttonsville well, is, Huttonsville. technically it's technically 1 it's through 5. Through 5. Because they've, yeah, they've got, yeah, they've got received in there. And then, and then Mount Olive, Olive, I mean, I've, I mean, I've, Mount Olive is a four five. Yeah, it's a four yeah, five. Yeah, it's a four. Well, it, it's supposed to be, but people, people like if you're in a if you're in a, a facility that doesn't have a, a a segregation unit, they'll send them to Mount Olive for the whole time, and then sometimes they'll hit the yard after that. And they'll be like a two or a three. They'll come from like a work camp or something. You know what I mean? They'll be like a two or a three on a, on a level five yard. Like what the fuck? Yeah, that's yeah, that's that's what I that's never what understood I, when they the, end up the, sending they, me to Mount me Olive. To Mount, I had a one. I had ten. a one. I mean, I was a five, I mean, I was a five. but but my cell is fucking old ass bed, old ass who's been in who's prison been for in the past thirty past years. 30 like, years. like you got this short got timer this short up here with all these big city dudes, dudes on the yard. On the mm -hmm. I think they realized. I think they really it and switched it off. Switched it off. Yeah. I but, mean, but 
as, as long as, like, as far as short-timers being with, like, people who got time, as long as you got respect and shit and, you know what I'm saying, you mind your fucking business, I mean, you're pretty much good, though, you know what I mean? Like, they don't, they'll get along with them, you know what I mean? That's why I tell people That's why it's I tell to people. be yourself, yourself. Then be someone else. Someone else. After you did After the six, you six did years, years, you got out. You got out. Then what happened? Then what happened? Then I was out. Well, actually, I was out for like three months, and then I caught a malicious winning case, but I beat that shit. So I was out for the rest of 2017, and then I got locked up 2018 when I was out. I was I was in all of 18, and then I got out for all of 2019, and I've been back ever since. So, so malicious wounding was thrown out. Work. What did what, what do you? Did, where are you at right where now? Are you at right? Western Virginia Regional Jail, out uh, here in Virginia. Uh, up in Virginia. Up in Virginia. What are you in jail? What, you what in charges jail? are you charges in jail, jail for right now? Right now. Fuck. Uh, what was I originally charged with, or what yes. am I in for now? Yes. What do you originally charge with? And, oh, then, what, and then, then, then what was it dropped was it to? Dropped to? All right, so at first it was first degree murder, abduction, secretion of a body, desecration of a body, uh, a distro, a methamphetamine, a conspiracy to distro, um, three obstruction of justices, a malicious shooting, uh, used during the commission of a felony, and a convicted violent felon in, use, in possession of a firearm. Right. And so I beat the body, uh, the first degree and the abduction was dropped and they hit me with the secretion of the body and the desecration of the body because I helped hide the body. And then they dropped the malicious shooting down to unlawful wounding. They dropped the possession of a firearm to possession of ammunition. They know process the uh, East Durham Commission of a felony. They hit me off with the distro, the conspiracy to distro, and one of the three obstructions. So they, so up, they, in total, I ended up getting 13 years for it. And then you do, and then a, you do a, a, a fraction of that in Virginia. Yeah, it, it used to be 85%, but they just changed it to 65% for the good behavior. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> 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 So you'll do about, so you got about five, five, five and a half left. left. Uh, All together, I do about eight and a half, but I got, I got about, I got about five and a half left. Okay. Okay. Now, how many jails yeah, have, have you been to been since to being in Virginia? Virginia? Out of all those jails, out of all those jails, from you being from in you West Virginia West jails and prison systems, what's the difference what's the between difference Virginia's, between Virginia's, Virginia's uh, Department of Corrections Department of Cor- that you've been at so far. Been at so- well, they're not as strict on like paperwork. Like in West Virginia, like as soon as you come through the door, like you gotta have your paperwork. Like, what do you mean here for? Make sure you're not a chomo or rat. You know what I'm saying? And then if you want to spot, if you want to spot at the table, like you're gonna fight for. You're probably gonna fight anyways, just to make sure you ain't a bitch, to make sure you can stay on the pod. You know what I mean? Somebody's gonna test you within the next couple of days. It's not really like that out here. Like out here, everything's more based about money. Like if you're a rat or a chomo, like they'll let you live on the pod as long as you pay. You know what I mean? It's it's a lot different. It's a lot different. Okay. Okay. Have you gotten charged with any write-ups, write-ups since being in the being Virginia in jail the system? system? Well, about a year ago, we jumped this chomo. They gave us outside charges for that. So they gave us outside assault charges and in-house assault charges. And we smashed that motherfucker, dog. <laughs> <laughs> um, I broke a tablet one time. They charged me for that. Um, do they make you pay you restitution make, for that? Do you break them? Fuck yeah, man. My baby bought two of them bitches, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Doug. Damn, Doug. Hey, they're expensive. They're like 350 bucks a piece. What? Are they, oh are they are worth they 350, $350 a piece? Dollars? Are they worth $350? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Tree fitty. <laughs> Tree fitty. Have you had to do any, had to, um, whole uh, time, time since being in, since uh, being in uh, Virginia? Virginia. Fuck yeah, dude. All right, so as soon as I caught these charges, I was originally in, uh, in Winchester Jail, which is a jail out here in Virginia. Um, and they transferred me to RSW, which is a jail that's in Warren County, which is the county right next to that. That's where I caught my body and all that shit. Whenever I got there, because of the severity of my charges, they put me straight on ADSEC. So I was ADSEC for six months. And then they let me out of the hole. 
um, on good behavior and shit. And then we beat the fuck out of that chumbo. And then they put me back on that tech for like another like four or five months, something like that. Um, and then I got off again. And I've pretty much been doing good since then. Well, I hope you well, keep doing you good until you get into the prison. Prison. Do you uh, have any you idea will, uh, which prison they might send you to? No, I have no idea. Um, I'll probably go to Nottaway for receiving. And here in Virginia, they let you pick. They let you pick three prisons that you would like to go to, like that's maybe close to home or whatever. So I'm probably going to put in for probably going to put in for probably Nottaway, Lawrenceville, or Greensville. Probably. Okay. Lawrence, Greensville is yeah. I don't know how it's going to work. With me going to Greensville as far as good behavior because Greensville is, is basically a gang prison, like so. We'll see how that goes, <laughs> but it's a, it's a good prison to be in, though. You know what I mean? Like you got you got a lot of freedom. There's, there's drugs. You know what I'm saying? Like you can. It's it's a lot like Mount Olive. Kind of, you know what I mean? It's freedom. It's like it's like as close to being on the streets as you can get. Now is um now is um uh, is Snape is Snape an issue there? An issue there? Man. It was, it was thorough here, like right before I got here. I called the tail end of it, and then a bunch of people told on how it got in through the legal mail, so now it's, it's legit. It and always it happens. Always Motherfuckers always got to mess up a whole process. Yeah, man. They, they, weren't, they weren't sure. There was a couple people that was getting it in, and they took them out of the hole, and they weren't sure which one it was, even though it was a couple of them. And then they just left them in the hole, didn't tell them nothing, didn't tell them why they was back there, just left them back there. And eventually one of them cracked and was like, told everything. So, I turned into punch bowl. <laughs> I was telling I was my telling subscribers, subscribers about uh, a about baby uh, bird they baby used to have. have. Oh, Lorenzo? Yeah, it was that was his yeah, name? Was, that was it. Lorenzo. Yeah, Lorenzo. I was just talking about that with Sabrina the other day, and I couldn't remember his name, but it was Lorenzo. So, tell me, so how, tell me where did you find did this you bird, find and what and made you want to take it up to the game unit? unit? All right, man. So, we was at Huttonsville, and there's two yards at Huttonsville. You got the center yard and the big yard. Well, in the center yard, there's this big-ass pole with a bell, like a, like a, literally like a bell on top of it. I don't know why the fuck there's a bell out there, but there's a bell out there. And there's like a little bird's nest up there, and one of the birds fell out. And I was uh, I was selling with this dude named Jeremy Cleveland. We called him Baby Cleveland. And... Uh, yeah, man, I don't know, man. Like, I just I wanted a pet, dude. So I, I took him back in there. Like, he was little too. He couldn't fly, couldn't do nothing, man. I went, I would take him to the chow hall, get him milk, all kind of shit. I get him worms and shit, bugs and shit. I taught him how to fly. We get him high on snapper. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey, it was cool as shit, man. I remember walking yeah, I remember in your walking. cell. I think you was, you was, was actually running actually ink running. on me. Okay. And I walk in. And I, I walk in. Chirp, 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 chirp. Bro. I got a baby bird. I got a baby bird. and everything man it was, it was cool as fuck and they came in for a shakedown eventually and uh we put him in the laundry hamper because we didn't know where else to hide him and in, and i don't know why we decided to put him in the laundry hamper because in huttonsville like that's the first place they check is your laundry hamper during the shakedown like it's they get their go-to you know what i mean it starts their entire self fuck everything up and never looked in the laundry hamper so they're about to they're about to roll out and it gets real quiet out here it's beep Peep, peep. And they're like, what the fuck is that? We're like, nah, it's nothing, man. Just, you know, we're, we're good. Peep, peep, peep. So they go over to laundry camper and find the goddamn bird. And so, yeah, we ended up losing the bird. We had, we had him for a grip, though. We had him for like two months, I think. It was, it was a minute. Did you get run up for Did it? you get run up Nah, man, we didn't get run up for it. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'd be telling my subscribers, too, subscri um, um, how we used to skateboard with our skateboard. IDs. Oh man, I still be doing that shit. You guys got IDs out there? You guys there? got IDs out? Yeah, man, I'm going to my cell right now. I got my joint right here. Swing, swing. But you want a tray flip? What do you want? Yeah, let me see that tray flip. Yeah, let me see that tray flip. Alright, hold on. Okay. Okay. You could do nothing else, though. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you couldn't do shit else. You couldn't do shit else. Hell no. Maybe that's maybe. Out of all the out of, out of all, all the, the prisons you've been to, prisons you've been to, what would you rate? What would you rate freedom wise? Freedom wise. I don't know, dude. That's why I was always in trouble because I always did what the fuck I wanted, anyways, man. For real. So I mean, 
I don't know, dude. <laughs> oh, like, that's. Oh, like, that's I always tell them. I always tell them. I had fun in prison. I had fun in. It was easy time. It was easy time. We had a blast. Where? We had a blast. At the hut. Yeah, the hut. Yeah, the hut. Mount Olive. Mount Olive. I mean, we got in trouble. I mean, we got in trouble. But, but. The prison sentence was. Prison sentence was. It went by fast. It went by because fast. we just did dude, whatever. Dude, it, 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 it flew by, dude. It flew by. It flew yeah, by. I, I know yeah, you I, did like I, a I, year, like, year and a half year more than me. Half more. Well, I lost, I lost good time for that shit with the COs. What would you lose? What, six would months you lose or a year? Or a year? No, nah, I lost. I lost a year, and then I lost like six months for like gang hate tattoos and shit. God, God. How many times How many did you time? um? You make the COs make the run the in CO on you in the hole at the hut. Uh, how many times I made them shoot up? Yeah. Yeah. Shit, dude. Probably like. Probably 15, 20 times. I didn't give a fuck. No. No. <laughs> it, it, got, it got to the point where they wouldn't even shoot me or, or flashbang me or clear out canister or nothing. They would just shoot all the way up and just come in and get me. <laughs> they, wouldn't, they wouldn't waste their time anymore. Like, they dragged me out by my goddamn foot. They have you by your toenails. <laughs> the meanest toe lock in the game. <laughs> have Feaster's have fucking Feaster's mustache fucking rubbing mustache against your neck. Against your neck. <laughs> Handcuffed against the wall. <laughs> I told them that I'd I only win in um, um I'd only win in only once, win it one on one against on the one. COs. Now is when we was a, a, Yeah, I told a, you to eat that chili. I told yeah. you to eat that chili. Yeah. I ended up getting fucked yeah, up, get up for that too. For that too. Yeah. White didn't like White that. White didn't like that. Nah, I liked it though. I thought it was funny as shit. <laughs> yeah, after that yeah, I didn't that. uh I didn't yeah, I didn't go in after that. Go in after that. Except for that whack ass riot. We all got Except fucked for that. Fuck for the riot. For the riot. Oh, yeah. That shit was fun, too, though. It you was know, I fun. Thought, I, thought, I thought more shit was going to pop off during that riot than what actually happened, though. That, I, that, I, I feel we fucked feel up we fucked because we were in the back we of the pot uh, and we let them come in on us. Come if we would have yeah. been at if the we front, been, they wouldn't have came in. They wouldn't have came in. Yeah, I agree. All right, my man. All Time's right, my man. about winding down. I'm, winding down. I'm gonna go ahead and jump I'm gonna off go ahead here. And jump. I appreciate your time, I appreciate your but, until then, but until then, I love you, my man. I love you, my man. And stay out the fucking hole. Stay home. out the fucking. Uh, I'm trying, dog. I love you too, man. I miss the shit out you, bro. I can't wait till I get out and kick it, bro. All right, of course. All right, all right, of course. Guys. All right you take it easy. All right, all right, bro. Stay out of trouble. All right. All right. Always. All right. Always. All right. Flesh my flesh, man. Ain't shit change. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Um. I'm hopefully going to keep doing some videos like this where I'm conversating with people that's still locked up either for murder, for drug charges, whatever it may be. I want to keep doing these, you know, these live interviews with the people that not only have been out, such as myself, that have already been, you know, released from prison, but along with the ones that are still locked up serving their sentences. So, as always, I send my utmost love, loyalty, respect. You guys have a good day.